Okay, this was a last minute exercise to change a 20 minute presentation to lightning talk and the last minute came and went and you have a 20 minute presentation <laughs> squeezed into five minutes. Um, time scale DB, lots of sensor information, even things like taxi companies, fleet tr trucks, they're all time series data, every trip a taxi makes is a time series. The growth in time series databases is huge and the data sets they generate are huge. Um, Postgres, I'm going to tell you what it is in a lightning talk. A Postgres extension, ditto. <laughs> Timescale is a Postgres plugin to produce some optimizations for dealing with large time, time series based data sets. It's an extension to Postgres. It supports billions of records. My test data set wasn't quite that big. And it provides some tools to actually enhance how you can query those data sets. It doesn't do anything you can't do in Postgres, it just does it in ways that are better and faster. I'm not going to go into this too much, but um, time scale, basically you create your table in Postgres to store your time series data. You want a command then called um, create hyper table with your table name in brackets. And behind the scenes, time scale will convert that into what is a hyper table. And essentially what that means is that um, you can pre-configure it so that the actual table is partitioned automatically when it reaches a certain size, so any single implement of in instance of that table will always fit in memory to prove, improve query responses. The native partitioning is based on grouping your data into set sets by the timestamp column. You can also get it to chunk your data using other columns as well. So if you have multiple instruments, you can have chunk it by instruments and do a range of configurations to optimize how it works behind the scenes. The key thing is that once you run that command, you just treat that, tab that hyper table as a normal Postgres table for all your queries. Everything else is magic behind the scenes. So create extension if not exist, timescale DB, and your timescale capabilities installed as an extension, and then you can run the create hyper table and the name of your column to create it. We maintain a database we call DAS, which is the data acquisition system, which is on our research vessel Tangaroa. That currently has around 550 million records, and we're looking at migrating it from the 8.4 Postgres database that's been sitting in for the past several years. Um, so I did a very quick test of timescale to see how it compared with native Postgres. Um, I did some hot and cold runs to see what difference it would make if there were any optimizations or things with, with queries running a second time to improve performance, sort of hiding events. But um, you'll see the results as we race through them very quickly. So they're all running out on, on a Linux box, on a laptop. It wasn't a particularly grunty machine, but it was adequate for doing this sort of data. Um, uh, table scan, select count from table, time scale was slower. Chunking your main table and having to go through all of those adds overhead, so you've got no way of using the, the optimizations you've got for chunking your native table. Simple query like that with just date ranges, time scale worked out three to four times faster. Some more, slightly more complex queries, but nothing, comp nothing too bad, again, time scales are averaging about four times faster. Getting a little bit quirkier, um, not much difference. We started to do with things about measurement keys and things that don't involve the timestamps, so they weren't actually picking up on the optimizations very well. Grouping by dates, etc. Um, it's about a quarter faster, but again, we're, we're doing a lot of stuff which is actually based on native Postgres stuff. 9% slower for this one. Um, I'm not sure why, it was basically date-based and it still ran slightly slower. Um, essentially, this one was 1.2, two times faster. That was an interesting one. Um, despite the fact we're using a whole lot of measurement keys to select different GPSs that were installed over different times, time scale ran 30 times faster than native Postgres for the same query. This is a, a, not as much a performance, but a functionality. Time bucket is a time scale introduced function. It allows you to basically group your data by time stamp. So if you want 15 minute interval summaries, time scale has functions to enable that sort of access to your data very quickly, very easily. So it generally equal or bedded Postgres. There are some useful extensions. 
where the workflow is predicated on time filters, it's generally four times. They've found 20 times, I found up to 30 times. None of the database are optimised for Postgres or for timescale. And I found no reason for us not to keep on using it. 20 minutes and five. <laughs>